hello hello ladies and guys how are you i hope you are good today we are going to use javascript to access the webcam while our user is using his browser then we can also take a picture and put some filters to this picture like we can blow the image give to this image some brightness contrast grayscale or invert the image or saturate it or give it some sepia you ready let's do it Actually, I'm using Visual Studio Code and I already create index.html file, app.js file, and style.css file. I will be also using during this tutorial Bootstrap for the styling. As I'm using also Visual Studio Code, I can just put here exclamation point and hit enter. Yeah, I can just come here and put accessing webcam with javascript like that so simple then i will also link my css file so here link rel so cool i come here put here scripts so that i can link my javascript file finally i can come here and if you come to get bootstrap.com you can come here get started we will just copy this code come here and paste it so simple now what am i going to do is at first i will come here and put a div class container we'll did our first with the html and i can center this by putting text center and put here h1 and I will just put here the same thing accessing webcam with JavaScript like that. Now I will put two things the video, like when the webcam will be recording the user, we can see the video here in a video tag. So for that, I will put here a div. This will be for the video. And this will put a canvas here like when we want to capture an image from the video we can see the image in the canvas come here and I put my video here we will put our canvas now let's put another div we put here capture let's see what this code produce for that I can right click and open with live server okay you can see we we have only our capture and nothing else I can come here again and create another div and then I put my button put here blue and I will do some copy paste okay cool so because i'm using live server everything is happening instantly so i can come here and can see all my button cool now i can come to the container where i put my button capture and give it a margin bottom five so we can have a space between all my button cool let's deal with some style of css like and have a good blue you see nice now let's come here to the javascript we are going to create a function get web cam like this and now we will use the navigator object in javascript to access the media device then we can get the user media like that and we what do we want so we want the video so i can put video true this will give us the video source but as the user must accept to share with us his uh, video his webcam this can take some time so we have to await we have to await so we have to await once the user accepts we will put the video source here video source in this variable like uh, I can put here in cost cool now what I'm going to do is I will put this in a try catch like we will try to get access 
to the webcam of the user if everything is cool so this block of code will be executed but if something wrong happen we can come here and catch the error and then console.log the error once we have the user webcam i can come here and uh, take my video by using document dot get element by id and take my video remember we have our video here we have our video here id video that is what i'm accessing i have my video and finally i can come here and say that video dot src equal the video source that is so simple that's all the thing we need to do here okay that's cool now i can come here and get webcam i call this function and it's okay let's see what's happening now you see nothing is happening and we can see that a weight is only available in async function so if we want to use a weight we need to put here async so now you see everything is working now here i put authorize nothing is happening here why because here it's not actually src that is src object now let's see if this is working you see actually i can see my face so that's cool okay now let's take a picture like i want to take a capture one once i click capture here i want to have my image here let's go for that i can come here so i know that this is my button i can give to this button an id of capture come here and say here i will access my capture button and here i will say capture dot add event listener and i will say that once you click that's what you are going to do for me function here i will also take my canvas then i need to get my canvas context so if I want to manipulate my canvas, I will not manipulate my canvas itself. I will manipulate the context of my canvas. So I will come here and put here canvas dot get context and it will be 2D context. Okay. So now I can come here and say that once you click the capture button, the context will draw an image based on the video no dx no dy and the width of my video will be 650 the rate will be 490 so cool now let's see what's happening i will open with live server authorize then let's see the picture you see that's actually our picture okay we can notice that this is not uh, showing really cool what we can do is come here and instead of container we use here container fluids and here also i will give to my video the same dimension as my canvas now let's see watch your eyes here is my video yeah and here you click capture and you see this pretty cool now now let's implement blue brightness contrast inverse saturation sepia and so on so on for that i will give id to each one of these button i will come here cool now let's access all of these button in javascript i give some space here i will declare for blue this will be document dot get elements by id instead of capture it should be blue 
I will do copy paste and I will do same thing capture so here I can come like that I will do the same thing this will be for blue okay cool so let's implement our function here instead of context.draw image I will access my canvas access style of my canvas access the filter property and say that I want to glue my image with 5 pixel let's see if this is working authorize I capture and I blue you see this is actually working yeah let's finish this I come here and here I will duplicate duplicate and here for the brightness instead of blue 5 pixel I will put here brightness I want to give 0 0.4 brightness to this and now let's see authorize this is me now I take a picture now <laughs> let's blow this let's give brightness let this contrast let's invert invert not good <laughs> let's saturate it let's give it a sepia so this is the end of this tutorial i hope you like it let's see us in the next tutorial peace